Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi So we'll start, uh, we'll start with the part 2 which is glassware Okay so we have two types of glassware which is group 1 is for non-volumetric glassware And the second group is a volumetric glassware Okay so for the group 1 it is a beaker and flask which is beaker normally we are using for transferring liquid to another container and flask is to contain a certain volume. Group 2 is a volumetric glassware. It, uh, an example like volumetric flask, it's been used for preparing a standard solution. Prepared, transferring liquid between the container. Bureau is for titration, accurate in dispensing a liquid of solution and graduated. Cylinder is for rapid measurement of liquid volume semi-accurate liquid measuring vessel as you can see over here there is a short form meaning to contain and also to deliver okay so to contain that means uh, you will use that to contain an amount of your sample and to deliver that means you are transferring uh, a liquid from one container to another container okay so you need to know that uh, for uh, the type or the class of apparatus that should be used for the uh, volumetric glassware okay for an example the the group 2 normally we will not use the glassware that we cannot use the heating glassware okay because it will affect your value assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh so we'll continue with the part two which is glassware there's two type of glassware which is group one for non-volumetric glassware and group Two is for volumetric glassware. So for the group one, we have a beaker and flask, which is to use to transferring liquid to another container. And uh, the second one is for containing a certain volume. It will use the short form as to TC, which is to contain. The second group is a volumetric glassware. This is all the glassware that we will use to transfer your solution we have four types here which is volumetric flask pipette burette and also the graduated cylinder uh, there is some of the volumetric glassware is used for to contain and the other one is for to deliver okay so uh, the important part that you need to know inside the volumetric glassware is you cannot heat the glassware because it will affect uh, the volume that you need to measure. Okay. So. Okay, so this is the type of volumetric glassware that volume can be measured we can use a burette pipette and also the volumetric flask make sure you know the right tools or the right glassware to use to measure your sample volume okay so this is the tolerance for volumetric glassware as you can see over here this is the volume capacity for glassware and this is the tolerance of the flask. So normally the value will be plus minus 2. The bigger the volume capacity of your glassware, it will have bigger tolerance. Okay, so this is uh, pipette. 
Okay, so as you know that for pipette, we have two types, which is one is volumetric or transfer pipette. The second one is to measure or graduated pipette. This is the technique to use. You can read this and also there is an example uh, video that I will give to you in the Google Classroom. Okay, so this is uh, the volumetric or the transfer pipette. Okay, this one is to deliver. This is we call as a volumetric a pop pipette okay all the information needed you can see at the pop side okay there it did this is the calib this is the calibration mark you it used to give you the accurate measurement since it designed to deliver only one volume you can see over here all the information needed or the, uh, the suitable use for this pipette this uh for better measurement you can use this because it is a it has a fixed volume so it will accurately deliver your solution okay the second one we call as a measuring or graduated pipette this one is to contain it let it is less accurate compared to the Compared to the volumetric pipette. Because as you can see over here, it has a, it has a, it has a range. So, normally, okay, inside our lab, we normally will have this graduated pipette even though it less accurate but this is what we have in the lab so make sure you do your uh, you do your so please try your best to measure the exact volume needed this is the other types of pipette which is Hamilton microliter shrink this uh, this is this pipette will be used to inject a sample into a grass chromatogram grass chromatograph okay so this is the single channel and multi channel digital displacement pipette and also the micro well pipette okay let's say just like the case of the covid-19 so you have a lot of sample, a thousand, a thousand of sample that need to be tested immediately. So it's better to use this so that it can do the test. You can deliver the, um, the, the exact amount for... Okay, the this is uh, the single channel and multi channel multi channel digital displacement pipette and also micro well pipette. Okay, you can select and you can choose the exact volume needed and it will deliver accurately. And also for the multi channel digital, you can do about ten. 150 sample in a single measurement that's mean like right now uh, COVID-19 uh, you need to test about 1000 sample a day so this is the good tools to use to deliver your sample okay so this is the type of volumetric glassware which is burette and also it used for for accurate deliver for a variable amount of solution okay. 
Okay, make sure you know that the burets, the starting point is 0, not 50. So, you don't need to minus. You, you don't need to minus the volume. Just take, let's say, when you do a titration, you get the end point at 20 mil. That means the value is 20 mil, not 50 minus 30. Okay. So, the volume delivered can be read nearest to 0 0.01 mil by interpolation. Okay. So, to use this, let's say you get the value is in between the, with the mark. You get the value is six between 6.1 to 6.2. So, you can take the volume as 6.15. And make sure you rinse your burette with the solution to be measured. We don't want the water contact with your burette. Okay, so this is the technique to use for burettes. Make sure, make sure you need to check there is no bubble inside this tip. And the volume will start with a zero. Okay, there is a video also for how to use a burette. Okay, you can read this. Okay, this is the volumetric glassware. The, uh, used to contain an accurate volume for your solution. And it need to be contained in a specific temperature, we see which is 20 to 25 degree Celsius. Okay, this is the technique to use. Make sure it is set to the meniscus level. Okay, you can read this. Okay, one of the important part in the volumetric glassware is calibration because we want to make sure that we get the exact volume needed. Okay, so this is the technique to calibrate your pipette. Okay, so you can read this and there is a video also the technique to calibrate the pipette. The technique to calibrate uh, the paper is different from the technique to use. So make sure you know the difference between the technique to use and also the technique to calibrate. Okay, make sure you read this and understand how to calibrate the paper. Okay, so this is the technique to calibrate the volumetric flask. Okay, that's all for volumetric measure, measurement. Thank you.